So every morning, I wipe down my crusty eyes with a baby wipe. You might have heard of them from an artisan store called CVS. But I wipe them down just to get a really clean palette on my eyes. The grub is off, and we are ready to get started to straighten my hair. I use the Vanity Planet Flow straightening brush because I'm lazy and I want to brush and straighten my hair at the same time. It looks pretty cool. Um, this is what it looks like. It heats up to 370. It makes my hair nice and straight. It has a swivel cord, so I travel with it a lot. Yeah, you can actually grab one below for 50% off, so <laughs> you're welcome. So Vanity Planet actually reached out to me to promote this, and I actually really like it, and I wouldn't promo this if I didn't find it to work, so grab one, try one, let me know what you think. So I get to straightening my hair every morning. Um, it's just so hot, I sweat at night, and then my hair curls back up, so I'm able to kind of brush my hair and straighten it as I go. Also, because my hair is color treated, I'm very specific about the types of straighteners I use, um, and I don't want to further damage my hair, so I like this one just because it has those smooth plates on it, and I'm not um, burning my hair into a million degrees. So once my hair is presentable, I grab my resting beach face bag. <laughs> it's pretty clever. <laughs> um, so I use this HD Makeup Forever serum um, that some lady at Sephora made me buy. It's basically like a moisturizing primer, I guess. Okay, so then I apply it like all those girls on YouTube <laughs> and then make a funny face for a good thumbnail. Rubbing that in and then we're ready for my foundation. I would be using my custom makeup, but I'm a little tanner because of the summer. So I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation that I'm going to put on. And um, I also use this super fancy brush, which I got for Christmas, which makes me feel like a real makeup maven. It's also very squishy and soft, so I enjoy it. I'm then using my concealer with CC Cream from IT Cosmetics. And it's very important that you use your ring finger to apply it. I used I remember this tip from an old Michelle Phan video, um, so I just apply that with a finger. I'm not fancy. I don't have any special brushes. Um, remember, I am not a makeup artist. I have a bachelor's degree from a liberal arts school in film, so I know really nothing special about makeup. I just enjoy it. All right, looking less tired. Okay, so then I'm just going to put on a little bit of powder that I use, which is also Makeup Forever, and it's the Pro Finish Powder. Um, I actually really like it. It has a good matte fin- oh, I- hold on, I can't open this. Oh, God. Okay, anyways, so it has a nice matte finish to it. I really like it. Um, I'm just using this brush that- I've really honestly been using for a long time. I just like it. It gives me full coverage. My mom gave it to me, <laughs> so I really like it. Um, so I'm just gonna add all of this uh, powder on my face. Next up, I'm a little reluctant to say this. I'm using a Kylie Jenner highlighter. Um, this one's a little dark, so I kind of like to use it as a bronzer on my face. Um, but the color is just really good. So I'm gonna put that on. Give myself a little high cheekbone action. Now I'm just gonna add a little dollop of blush because, I don't know, makes me look happy, makes me look alive. So we're just gonna put a little bit on each cheek and then we're gonna move on to eyes. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me about this and they're asking what kind of eye makeup I use and it is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. It is the best. I got it for a birthday present and it is absolutely wonderful. So I start off my base color 
with using a little mix of two colors and then I just apply it to basically my whole lid for an all over base. Um, I really like this because I barely tapped on the eyeshadow and I get so much color. Um, so it's really good because it'll last a really long time. I then go in and add a darker shade into my crease line and I really like this uh, red that they have and I put that into my crease line and I guess that's how you do it because that's how I saw it on Instagram from a girl that I really like who does makeup. I then go in and blend it all out um, just so I don't look like a crazy person who really doesn't know how to do my makeup. <laughs> And then if I'm feeling a little extra sassy that day, I'll grab some of that red and put it on my lower lash line. Looking good so far, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're moving on to this Physician's Formula liquid eyeliner that I like swear by. It has pheromones that apparently make you smell sexy to people. I don't know if that's true. I just got it because it had a really good applicator. I'm gonna create my cat eye. I have been doing this for about five years now, so I would say I'm a seasoned cat eyer. <sighs> you gotta make sure you gotta take your break after you've drawn the initial line, and then you go back in like a champ. And I do an initial line, I connect them, and then I fill them in. Everybody has like their own way of doing it, but I've found that this is kind of the perfect way for me to get that cat eye. Now that your anxiety has reached peak levels, you gotta go in and do the second one and make sure to take a break and relax because you gotta make it perfectly even and make it look as good as the initial one. I would say this one, this one's looking pretty good. I like it, you know, it's pretty even. You'd have to really look close to see how uneven it is. I then go in and curl my lashes. Sometimes I'll heat up my eyelash curler um, to make the eyelashes really stay curled, but you know, that's always optional. I then just use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I actually really like it and I swear by it. I'm gonna try to do like a little Instagram-y thing. Yeah, no, I, I'm not fit for this. So I apply the mascara to the top and bottom lashes and then we're we're really almost done you know i gotta do a couple glamour shots i gotta show off my work for the day so you could see it all in all honesty i really don't do much to my brows i just kind of put a little gel on a brush and brush them out i wish i could say i did something cool but they're already they're already pretty bold in the first place so i just i let them do their own thing I'm then going to apply the Giella Custom Lipstick that I got. I've really been enjoying this and it has a really good creamy finish. Um, and it's not too, too bold. So I'm just gonna quickly put that on and then I think we're done. Alright guys, as you can see, this is my final look. A lot of you guys were asking about what um, I wear for makeup and kind of what my eyeshadow is and now you have my secrets. I really hope you liked it. It's a little different than what I normally do, but um, a lot of you guys were asking about an everyday makeup routine. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe because I'm going to be here for a while. And um, I guess I'll see you next time. All right guys, bye.